Today's job is checking this boundary wall. I don't really feel like it. I'm a bit hungover. It's just after Christmas. Um, but I was driving along and there's sheep in the woods here where they're not supposed to be. So I need to go along this wall and check that, I don't know, no walkers have pulled coping stones off or a tree's not dropped on it or whatever. Oh, it's worse than I thought. It's not sheep, it's goats. You can smell them. Um, I think they've probably got over here. Look at this. One stone missing. Yeah, so they're goats. Um, I'm going to try and get back down underneath them. Take the quad down to the bottom of the valley and walk up. Hopefully I can push them back up above this wall. So back to goat chasing again. Hung over this time. I've come back down and I'm below them now. Got wet feet. I'm going to try and chase them up up out of the trees where they're going to do less damage. Why am I doing this? Am I just grumpy, hungover, in a bad mood, hate goats? No, I quite like them actually, but we planted all these trees years ago. This was just open hill um, and they're going to come in here and they're going to eat the trees. So you can see where they've done it in the past. This one's recovering because it got them out in time. Uh, they're not like sheep. They'll browse on anything. You know, sheep will eat trees if the stocking density is too high, there's not enough food. Goats will just do it because they're goats, um, so they can't stay in here. So I've got to try and get them out, otherwise they're going to eat all these trees. And we want these trees because it's trying to join up two patches of ancient woodlands, the ones over there and the ones over there, to make like a habitat corridor. Uh, yeah, so that's why I'm doing it. Oh yeah, and by the way, look, here's another little sheepfold from back in the day when there were shepherds and things like that. Here we go. They've obviously been in for a few days because they've done this to this rowan tree. Maybe it'll recover. There's bark all the way down. It's not totally ring barked. We'll see. Getting quite close now, but it's getting harder. Look at all these brambles. They're great because they protect the young trees, but they're hard to get through. There they are, right next to the wall. Try and get them over. There they go. Up past the wall. Yeah, they went through that gap in the wall I showed you earlier when the one rock had fallen out here. I'll fix that in a minute. Let's chase these a bit higher. There we go, bodged the wall. Um, there's two reasons to do this. It's not gonna stop the goats, but that extra foot should stop the sheep coming over. Um, and then the other thing is if you don't, all the stone gets lost, you know, it gets covered by soil. And next time someone wants to fix this wall, there won't be any little rocks there, which are really important. You need the little rocks to hold the wall up. Uh, the big rocks are easy to find, but the little rocks, like gold dust up here. While I'm up here, I might as well check the rest of the wall. It's, I don't know, a quarter of a mile, half a mile or something along here. Something's crossed over here. Um, there's a bit of a step to get over. And then I found this on the floor. Something's knocked it off the top of the wall. So I'll see what I can do here. Got another little patch to fix here. This one looks like a walker has come over using that tree to hold themselves. Knocked off a coping stone. Happens regularly up here. There's another little sheepfold. Um, so I've got rid of the goats. I'm going to walk down through this woods because there's a couple of sheep in there I want to get rid of. Um, it's not such a big deal because there's only two sheep and like I say they, they don't eat the trees the same way the goats do. They might do but there's still loads of brambles and stuff in there for them to eat. So two sheep hopefully shouldn't make a difference. Uh, just checked out this sheep pen because it's a classic wild camping place and the good ones you'll never know they were here. The other ones they'll come they'll camp and then they'll pull some coping stones off to make a fire or they'll you know answer the call of nature and rip coping stones off to cover it up or take coping stones off to weigh down their tarps etc. Uh, yeah it's a bit of a pain. There's the sheep I'm after down there. Um, it's looking a bit manky it's been in here for a long time. If you can make it out it's there. So can just follow it down and try and get it out. One last sheep to move. Um, it's come out of here I think where there is some grass. And then it's tried to get into there, because the grass is greener on that side. But it's got stuck in here. Where there's not a lot of grass at all now. 
So we're going to try and get it out so it can eat. It's so much easier than them goats. Look at it, stuck between two fences with a gate at the bottom. But you can see how much grass it's eaten. There's really not a lot left here. Well, that was a nice easy one. There it is, out on the other side of the fence. Without so much as a thank you.